this is out to Alaska and we're going to do some fishing in Homer, Alaska, the halibut capital of the world. Come on with us. All right, we're heading out of Homer and looking for some halibut and maybe a king or two. It's not raining too hard. Looks like it could clear up a little bit. That'd be awesome. Well, it stayed right like this. I'm happy. Let them, let them take it. I, I'm trying to. I'm just getting a bite on a hooligan. Let them take it. There you got him. Cody's got one. Nope. No, you got to let them take it. <laughs> I know I can tell you guys are cocked and ready. Because they're just coming up to it and they're looking at it. And they're just touching it. And then they're going to taste it a little bit. And then they're going to decide. Hmm, I want that. I want that in my belly. And then they're going to come around, back around. And they're going to put it in their belly. And then they're going to go, rah, 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 chew on a little. And, oh, yeah, that tastes good. And then if they come up and they hit it, they're usually interested. Yeah. You got them. Nope. You've got to have them. You got something. Sculping. Sculping little. Yeah, that was oh, sculping. Yeah, hitting stupid you. sucker. Go away, you dumb fish. Thank you. There's usually a lot of them. I like here. your kind. And the, another trick is when you get your They're drag, pretty though, with that red. Yeah, they're pretty. When you get your drag set. Right there. You guys can try and just green. let it down. Pretty guy. Uh, yeah, I just go down the bottom line. The valve's open on that. The valve is open. Oh, we got a little live well. Oh, I don't it's think right it's a here. good fish. But... Oh, it's, it's a how bit. It's a good, it's, it's a, a decent, it's a small. Not a good one. Careful, Cody. Gee, you're freaking me out. Heather just got a cod. Oh, I don't want to catch that. Well, can you? Cody's got one. No, I lost it. It's not as big as mom's, but I think we're going to keep them. Real, real, you got him. You oh, got him. Yeah. Set the hook. It's too hard to get out. We yeah. just changed it. And then we'll get the stuff is small. Okay, so we just got a good push of fish. We got a couple little, I don't know, 10 pounders in the boat. And uh, just retying up and getting down for the next uh, slug of fish. Oh, yeah. Dad's got one too. That, 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 oh, that, that's, that's definitely a That's probably like... Oh, it's got something. Probably like a 30 pounder, maybe. Oh, it's a nice one. Yeah, oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's get the gaff on it. Did you lose? Oh, good. Where's the camera? Yeah. Yep. Let's got one here. He stole my pole while I went to get my rain jacket. Remember what James said? No, it's not that big. Cody, I'm gonna fish a cod. You're right in Looks the like way. Cod, and he's got the anchor line with it. Uh oh, oh, he's got oh, he's got a dirty boy. There we go. Dad's got a fish, though. Big Sierras, little. That's a flounder. Oh, that's a keeper right there, brother. Nice. Look, look at this. This is a rock green lean. Look at the color. You want to be the absolutely gorgeous. It for other people, right? It's like orange and red and green and this like sky blue. This is uh, related to lingcod. Very beautiful. He might have blue flesh. 
is judging by the in, uh, the inside of his mouth. When we fillet him out, we'll see if his meat is blue. Okay, filleting up the fish. Well, we only got five hell of it. Small, but yeah. better than nothing. Better than nothing. <laughs> Well, these guys don't quite have the meat yield of a halibut, but their meat's still pretty good. They're, they kind of stink, though, when you clean them. But uh, we're going to have some cod, too, since uh, there's no limit on them here. There's a few, but there's like, we play fifth. Goodness! Oh no my way. goodness! I want to eat it. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. It's a blue fillet. Holy cow, I just... Like, blue, blue. Wow! I'm so amazed right now. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Amazing. You should make fish tacos with that. <laughs> Blue tacos. It turns white when you cook it, but it's Aww. so cool. <laughs> All right, time to pull anchor. Let's go in. It's chilly. It's cold out. <laughs> Good job, Jake. All right, here's our fillets. See here, the meat is actually blue on this one. This is a rock greenling for sure. But um, this one, I think is a rock greenling just because of the live color. But I'm looking at the markings now and I think it might just be a kelp greenling. But you can see there's a little bit of blue hue right in here on this greenling as well. Pretty sure they're both rock greenling, but this one could be a kelp greenling. So, but that blue meat, that happens in lingcod and the greenling family. So like rock greenling, kelp greenling, and lingcod, and cabazon. Just can't believe how deep blue this is right here. Mm -hmm. Like you can eat them, right? They're not yeah. like poisonous or anything weird. Like, right, that'd make you... Because they're blue. <laughs> That's crazy. So there you go, people. Blue filet right here. This this is not edited at all. This is the color of the filet. And this is the regular um, color of this fish. So this is blue and white. When this cooks, I believe it turns um, white. But it looks really cool raw like this. We're going to see if there's a difference between the blue meat in flavor and the white meat. So I looked up what causes the meat to be blue like this, and it's a um, compound called uh, biliverdin. It, it's a compound of bile, and that's what dyes the, the flesh of the fish. So, kind of interesting me what's interesting and there's not really a good answer on it is why sometimes they're white and sometimes they're blue the beautiful blue fish colors are going away yeah. oh it tastes like blueberries all right, the blue's going away. Just one hint of it left. It's all white now. Oh no. I guess it's only worth eating sushi, right? We should have gone. We should have had some sushi. Now the cotton candy flavor is out of it. That's why blueberry blue flavor. Raspberry. These taste blue raspberry. Yeah. Blueberry fish. That's blue, that's white. This is the white first. Really dainty flake to greenling. It's, it's really, 
it's almost like perch or crappie or something like that. And here's the blue flavor. There's a little bit of taste difference. You taste the difference? There is. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a softer flavor to it. But they taste really similar. And it's good, it's not fishy or anything like that. It's a good eating, it's a good fish to eat. I think it'd be cool to do like a sashimi with that. That would be totally blue like that. That'd be really cool. So if you like the content we're putting out and you haven't subscribed yet, consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps us with getting our stuff out. So thanks a bunch. We'll see you on the next video.